Good morning and thanks for joining us today. My name is Rachel and I'll be moderating today's webinar, Leveraging ServiceNow CTI for Customer Service and Support. First, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker. Representing 3C Logic, we have Guillaume Sainha, VP of Marketing and Business Development. Guillaume brings over 10 years of experience in customer service and routinely shares best practices on how to marry technology and business processes to enhance the overall customer experience. Welcome, Guillaume. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Rachel. Good to be here. During this webinar, Guillaume is going to help us explore some of the common challenges faced by customer support teams and how to effectively integrate CTI with ServiceNow's open frame platform. So at this point, I'm going to give the floor to Guillaume. Thanks, Rachel. It's, it's great to be here. Thanks again, everyone, for, uh, for joining us today. So uh, as Rachel mentioned, we're going to talk about uh, how to integrate computer telephony integration uh, with ServiceNow as it specifically relates to customer service and support initiatives that you, your organization, may very well have. Uh, obviously, ServiceNow offers a, a slew of different uh, resources uh, depending on your specific need. And while they've obviously catered to a large extent to IT service management, the most recent announcement uh, from uh, Knowledge16 was the uh, release of their CSM platform or customer service management solution, which is really meant to be more of a customer uh, uh, forward-facing platform to help manage uh, customer uh, expectations, incidents, cases, uh, as it relates to your customer support team or help desk, uh, and, and so forth. So we're going to focus there. And if we do, then obviously what we want to sort of take into account, or at least accept, is that ServiceNow is increasingly becoming sort of the lifeblood of your organization. And by that I mean there's an enormous amount of data, uh, specifically customer-related uh, data, that ServiceNow maintains that uh, can be extremely useful uh, in the course of uh, different customer uh, discussions or interactions that you may very well or your users may very well have over time. And the importance here is obviously to be able to merge that information or make it readily available to your users or your, your call center representatives, if you will, uh, when it matters most, which is obviously at the point of the interaction. And for that to occur, you have to have some form of integration between your communication platform uh, and, in this case, the ServiceNow uh, customer service management solution. And the idea here, of course, is to be able to really leverage that information during the different uh, uh, types of discussions that you might very well host, whether it's through your call center, your help desk, uh, in instances relating to customer service and support, uh, during online chats that your uh, users may very well have, and so forth. And the idea being, facilitate the ability for your users to have intelligent discussions uh, with your customers. Basically offer that perception of personalization, right? So you call in, it's, well, hello, Mr. John Smith. It's, it's great for you to call again. I see that you called last week in relation to incident number 55. Uh, I have that uh, updated information here readily available. Let's get started, right? Um, the idea being that you don't necessarily, as a customer, have to uh, continuously explain the purpose for your call. All of a sudden, you as an organization can sort of anticipate that need, but again, in contingent on being able to combine the incoming call and merge it or tie back to the data that is most likely to be used in the course of that discussion. But if you look at most organizations and enterprises today, the reality is this is actually sort of a, a there's a gap. Uh, there's actually a, 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 a typical uh, failing point in being able to actually bridge uh, those two instances. Again, the interaction with the data that would be useful during the course of that discussion. And if you look, you know, well over a quarter of uh, consumers report that they're ongoingly routed from one agent to another to another without ever really getting any resolution to their problem and inquiry. And that specifically speaks to really the organization having the, or, you know, the organization's inability, if you will, or inefficient ability uh, to actually directly correlate an agent uh, with the customer uh, on the first try. So basically route them to the person most qualified to address their need. And that's also why, uh, in some cases, well over half of all first call resolutions actually typically fail, and that's because the user uh, or the agent is actually uh, not presented or doesn't have access to the information that would actually help them uh, help your customers. Uh, and then some of that can actually be tied uh, to sort of the disconnect between the interaction and the data. Uh, and if you see here, almost, uh, you know, perhaps less than 10% of all customer engagements and interactions are typically not actually documented, whether it's through recordings, uh, automation of activities, and so forth, in the actual system of record. In this case, what we're talking about is ServiceNow. So obviously, if you don't have a history of prior interactions, it obviously makes it much more difficult uh, to have intelligent 
future discussions with con consumers. Uh, you know, if we all put ourselves in the shoes of the consumer, when we call a business, we anticipate that they already know of our prior dealings with your business. Uh, and, and when that information isn't readily available in that discussion, uh, you know, we're constantly frustrated. Um, and so that's one of the things that we're looking to resolve uh, with an integrated computer telephony platform is how can you uh, automate the communication initiatives that you host uh, based on the workflows that you host within ServiceNow, specifically in this case, the customer service management solution. Now, one of the things we also have to take into account is it's not just about the difficulties or complexities of automating your workflows and being able to merge them with the discussions that you have with your clients, but also taking note of the fact that perhaps uh, you might be undergoing some infrastructure changes as well as it relates to the services and solutions that you use to actually uh, manage uh, those customer experiences. Uh, and most notably here, obviously, it, it's the discussion between your, perhaps legacy or on-premise platforms that you maintain, whether it's a Cisco or Navaya solution, uh, 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 you know, or, or, or anything the like, uh, and being able to migrate to perhaps uh, a hybrid or pure cloud offering uh, that um, might give you a little bit more flexibility uh, and scalability, uh, but at the same time uh, might also uh, force you to have to uh, forego perhaps the uh, security or comfort of the security and reliability that uh, your legacy platform provides. And so what we're seeing here over the next, say, 12 months is an increasing move towards hybrid uh, solutions, perhaps ultimately moving to pure cloud solutions, but that does uh, introduce an added variable that most organizations, large enterprise organizations, have to contend with in addition to managing the customer experience. So the idea here is how can we merge the two and maybe help bridge the gap uh, to allow you to get there faster. If we look at sort of the customer journey as it stands today, right, most of it is pretty basic, despite the fact that we've got all these technologies and solutions available to hopefully, uh, the idea being, of course, to make it a little bit more uh, intelligent. And so if you look here, you, you have a customer that would typically call into an IVR or otherwise known as an interactive voice response uh, solution or platform. Really, it's a decision tree for, for where to route an, an individual, press one for support, press two if you have an incident number. Uh, and then typically that will route you to, to a team, or in this case, a customer service representative, that is going to attempt to help address your, your, your inquiry. But the reality is if you really want to manage the customer relationship in a way that not only we as customers but also as an organization would want to, you need something a little bit more advanced. And, and that would look something of the likes that you know, a customer calls in, they get introduced to the IVR, but then that IVR is able to intelligently interact with the system of record, in this case ServiceNow, to help intelligently determine based on the information that you already have on that customer or that incident or that case, uh, depending on the different identifiers or objects that you might be dipping into, be able to intelligently understand where is the higher likelihood of success depending on where I route this call. And so the idea being is that once you've sort of consulted with ServiceNow, the IVR is then able to route you to a representative and have not only the appropriate ServiceNow information or screen populate, but then also give them all the, the, the features and functionalities from a communication standpoint to manage that actual call. Uh, and then ultimately, which is perhaps what's most important, is make sure that you actually then have that interaction automatically documented within ServiceNow and ultimately updated back into future interactions. So that should this customer call back again, the prior interaction is already stored within that new screen that would pop to that representative so that that representative, whether it's the same one or perhaps a new individual but still equally qualified, has that information to relate to so they can continue the prior discussion that your, uh, your, your uh, customer may have had with, with prior users from your team. And ideally, you know, it's a basic workflow uh, conceptually, but obviously a lot has to happen on the back end for this to actually be a reality. So what I'm going to do here is let me just actually switch screens here and show you what uh, 3C Logic's advanced uh, integration or computer telephony platform uh, with ServiceNow looks like. And what we're doing here is using ServiceNow's latest open frame platform, which is really this open real estate. So if you will, it's, it's, it's empty space that we as a, as, as a third party provider are able to dip into through APIs and present our telephony solution uh, to a user, but obviously with the level of integration that we've just alluded to. So let me just quickly switch screens here switch to actually a live environment. So what I've done here is I've switched over to, for example, our 3C Logic uh, administrative portal. And as you can tell, there's, there's, there's quite a number of features and functionalities that we could uh, go ahead and, and, and dive into the weeds 
if we chose to. But what I want to focus here is, is really on the engagement of, uh, of your customer workflows. And so I've specifically pulled up what we call an IVR, which is, again, a decision tree for how you route uh, a customer's uh, incoming inquiry. So what you have here is you have the incoming menu. Someone calls in. They're presented with a press 1 if you have an incident number, press 2 uh, if, you, uh, if, um, if you have a customer ID number, or press 3 uh, to go to a general queue. And then what the system is going to do is automatically validate that information. But most importantly, go to ServiceNow and fetch information from ServiceNow to then determine, based on the status of that incident, whom should I route this information to, right? And then who should I present this customer to to ultimately uh, address this issue, hopefully on the first try. So if I switch here to the ServiceNow portal, what you can see is if I look into their matching rules platform, we've actually created a specific logic for existing incidences. In which case, if an incident meets any of these following states, awaiting problem, awaiting user info, or so on and so forth, Make sure that you use the following resources. And resources here, in this specific case, are, designed, are defined as any agent that has a skill level of one. Okay? So basically what we're doing here is if I go through the IVR, assuming that I've inputted a specific incident number, it's been validated, I'm sending that input into ServiceNow and seeking an output. And that output in this case would be, please route it to any agent of this specific skill level who is available, and then automatically repop the ServiceNow information to that agent so that they can actually immediately begin to address that customer's inquiry. Okay? So what we've done, if I switch here to and go back to the home screen within ServiceNow, is we actually have a very simple telephony uh, platform. Again, this is the open frame solution within, uh, with 3C Logic integrated within it. And you can see here, uh, it's a free-floating frame that I can easily either hide or bring back to the foreground. And I, as an agent, can make myself available, away, busy, everything is customizable. So if I were to make myself available here as an agent, what I can do is basically go through the very use cases I showed. So I'm going to pretend here using my cell phone. I'm going to go ahead and dial a very quick phone number. I'm going to call that 800 number and go through that IVR. So let me just... Uh, so I'm going to press 1 because I have an incident number. It's, and it's actually asked me for my incident number, so I went ahead and dialed 55. And you can see how automatically the system went ahead and did a few things. One, it activated the telephony solution. So again, this is an integrated platform within ServiceNow. So I, as an agent, from one single screen can manage the actual customer engagement. But at the same time, it went ahead and sought out case number 55. In this case, it's uh, Carol Coughlin. And I can go ahead and immediately begin to address Carol Coughlin's uh, specific inquiry. Okay, And then when the time comes, I can then disposition or fancy term for uh, establish what was the outcome of the call. Let's just go ahead and say that I resolved the issue. I can put in some notes, okay, and I can actually finalize the call and put myself back in ready mode. Okay, What's important here to note is that all the information that I've done, the call recording, the notes, uh, and so forth, are then going to get stored back into this specific incident. And to show you that as a test case, let me go into a specific contact. So let me go ahead and pick a contact at random. I'm going to pick Alex Lind. And you can see here, in this case, you can see all the outgoing calls that took place with Alex. I can actually see the call recording itself if I choose to. Okay? And then there are any, any relevant notes as they take place. But I also have all the relevant information uh, in terms of how, what was the length of the call, what was the outcome of the call, what was the duration, any upcoming tasks. And automatically, when I disposition a call, it's going to update an object or a set of objects within ServiceNow to help automate the next set of workflows or steps that are supposed to take place. So all of a sudden, you don't leave it to human error uh, for follow-ups and so forth to take place. You automate that platform and make sure that those calls then get sent to the appropriate individuals uh, so that they are automatically required to make those outgoing calls or follow-ups, depending on what your workflows or, or processes may require. And of course, if you wanted to, you can very conveniently initiate an outbound call, which I've done right here, uh, and then go ahead and again type in your notes, uh, establish a disposition, and finalize it. And so that's just one very specific set of use cases. But obviously, what's most important after the fact, and we've alluded to, is you want to be able to also then uh, run reports so that you can actually establish what is actually happening in your call center. Okay? 
So what we've done is all the information, all the interactions, all the data points, number of calls, duration of calls, typical outcome of those calls, and so on and so forth, we're actually pushing all the raw data into the ServiceNow reporting framework. So if I take a look at, for example, uh, total calls made by agent, I can actually create that report within ServiceNow, as you see here. So here are the num number of calls uh, initiated by Megan and Abel and Sean and so forth. And I can actually combine that information with ServiceNow uh, data objects. So all of a sudden now I'm correlating two sets of data points and really getting that complete 360 degree view insight uh, as it relates to not only the activities within ServiceNow, but what drove those activities as it relates to the interactions that took place before and after. And the idea here again is going back to what we spoke of earlier, what, which is the idea of being able to be able to automate the, uh, the, inter the storing and recording of the interactions as they take place, to be able to correlate uh, uh, outgoing communication or incoming communication as it relates to ServiceNow workflows and make use of ServiceNow data uh, to facilitate the automatic and intelligent routing of calls to the appropriate agents. Uh, and in addition, make sure, really the end goal, how can you optimize, if not enhance, the success of those customer engagements? How can you limit the number of times an individual has to contact your institutions to get their issue resolved? And really the end goal here is how can you overall increase your CSAT scores, uh, your customer satisfaction points, your net promoter scores, and ultimately drive increased customer loyalty or, or customer retention. Because ultimately what you'll find is when customers are reaching out to your business or trying to communicate with your organization, most often it's not to give you a pat on the back. Uh, most frequently it's actually to do quite the opposite. It's to either field an issue that they've uh, been unable to resolve themselves or to file a complaint. And so those rare interactions are opportunities for you to either shine or quite frankly, potentially lose the customers and have them switch over to, to a competing competitor. And so I'll leave it there. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously 3C Logic, uh, we're, we're more than happy uh, to field them. Let me just switch screens so you have our information readily available. So again, 3C Logic, we've been around since 2006, <clears throat> and this is really our expertise. Uh, we've been working for ServiceNow for a number of years, uh, basically uh, integrating our telephony platform, including chat and email, uh, to interact and seamlessly work with the workflow and logic that obviously, and data that's obviously stored within ServiceNow. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, or if you'd like uh, to discuss private use cases, by all means, uh, make, your, uh, make yourself known. You can contact us directly, and, and myself or, or a member of our, our executive team would be happy to, uh, to address your questions. Rachel? Thanks, Cam, for your time. We hope everyone enjoyed the presentation today. Um, and if you would like to learn more about 3C Logic, please visit our website or contact us directly using the provided information. Thanks again.